As a student entering the program, you can expect a lot of different things. Um, when I came here as a student, um, I was part of the FFA. We host the state FFA welding competition here. So that's what drew me as a student. I won the stick welding competition. The college provided me a $1,000 scholarship. We still offer that scholarship today to the top 10 in each division. After I graduated this place, I went 14 years in industry as a welder, fabricator, and then to the supervisory level, which now I'm back here being an instructor in the program, and I can see the fold happening again. We've got students coming back. We're hiring new instructors, and there's a lot of opportunity for them. Right now, industry is starting to boom in this area. Um, one company that's hiring a lot of people is Burlington Northern Santa Fe which is one feather in my hat. I instruct all the apprentices that get hired at Burlington Northern Santa Fe. They come through a basic and an advanced welding class as a partnership with the college. What they can expect for equipment when they walk in here is amazing. Um, the machines we have now versus what we had when I was a student in 94 have come a long ways. We got now the new CNC technology as you've seen earlier in the videos. Um, we got some brand new inverter power sources um, provided to us. We got from Lincoln Electric this last year. Um, super power sources, multi-process, a lot more technology than what we had 20 some years ago. So a student's still gonna see that old school technology because we never know where they're gonna get placed. They may land in a mom and pop shop that have 30 year old equipment. They need to know how to run that just as well as today's new technology. So getting that seed planted in the high schools, getting dirty, getting the feel for what it's like to produce something that you're proud of is a good place to start. Also another place that we need, mathematics. You know, sure, we're just not just dumb welders. It takes skill. We have to learn robotics, programming, just to prepare our materials, how to read a tape measure, how to lay out devices, trigonometry all the angles that we use in layout. So it's not just A plus B. We're now figuring out pi squared. How do we find the area, circumference of parts, the layouts, the angles, what angle do we need to cut this part at to get it to the right size? If you just wanna go out and be a welder, great. But if you wanna come through and get an associate's degree and be able to be advanced to be a supervisor or elite person, those skills are critical to your advancement. The non-traditional student, the guy that's working the dead-end job out there during the daytime, can come in during the evening set, 3.30 to 9.30, and get his associate's degree on the off hour so he can still feed his family plus gain his education, which is another huge feather in SEC's hat. It's not sometimes the paycheck, it's actually producing a product that you see out in the community and have pride going, you know, I built that. I'm Brent, past graduate, and now an instructor. Welding Technology, Southeast Community College, Lincoln Campus.